Hello and welcome to our map making video. This time we're making an abandoned mine. We start off with a plain automatically generated map and start terraforming. We have recently heard from the Dungeon Alchemist team via the social media that soon the terrain modification tool will be getting an upgrade which will increase the strength of it. This will mean you'll be able to raise and lower terrain faster. This is the Morgana update. But until then, let's do some editing magic. The idea is to have a number of different levels within the map. At first, it was going to get your players to decide how they transition between the different areas. They could use rope, use spells, or just simply jump and deal with any damage from the fall. However, later you will see that we add slopes, as it makes more sense for miners and other workers to move around. Feel free to add a dexterity check for your adventurers to navigate the slope safely. We change the type of terrain to look more like rock, and later we make that more uniformed across the map. Using the tools available, we create a makeshift wooden rail track. Please, please, please add rails, Dungeon Alchemist. We will love you forever. The tricky part of this was the corner. More time was taken adjusting each part to make it more realistic with the spacing. A nightmare but we like things to look good from a top-down perspective. The rest of the track is added along with a split track signalling the end. A cart is added and resized so it would fit on the track. A few final adjustments to the track to ensure it is all in line. You don't have to be a perfectionist with your own map. We add a wall to create a room or area that has been mined out, leaving some mineable ore veins for your players. Stones are then added near the track to show what is going to be loaded on and transported out of here on the cart. There are also types of stone added to the wall. This area is also a nice spot to have your monsters lying in ambush. Leftover equipment is loosely scattered around the place, including a makeshift wooden bridge to cross over the gap. Dirt is added to the ground to make the mine look more active. Walls are then added to break the map up more. This is where the players would have had to jump down. But since we're nice, slopes have been added to help them move around. Another slope is added to the other side. However, the final section is left for the players to descend into with their tools or leap of faith. In this map scenario, the pits in this ground could be where you spawn your enemies from. 
they could also just as easily be an entrance to a lower level. What kind of monsters is up to you. But we went with some tunnelling beasts. A natural water source is added. We've also added items made from rock that you could say are from an archaeological dig. Or perhaps made on site with all the tools. This mine, whilst mainly used for the stone, will also have an area where rare items that have been excavated are inspected. Or where the stonemasons take their time carving exquisite objects to be sold off. Stone face looks great when placed together. That, along with other items, could be a custom order that should have been sent to a nearby town. Perhaps they are magic items lost from memory, now being unearthed. Lights are placed to help the masons see. No abandoned mine is finished without some skeletons. How fresh they are is up to you as a DM. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please hit that like button to give us that warm fuzzy feeling. As always, if you would like to use these battle maps, please consider supporting us on Patreon. All our links are in the description below. Take care of yourself, may your dice rolls ever be in your favour.